Would you like to know about the day in the life of a cloud architect? Or what does a cloud architect do or a solution architect do? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Careers. And we're an organization that's truly dedicated towards building the most high performance cloud computing careers. Personally, I've been working in technology for over 25 years, and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for more than two decades, and I want to help you get cloud hired or cloud promoted. In today's video, we're going to talk about a day in the life of a cloud architect or a day in the life of a solution architect. I'm going to begin by saying that the role of the cloud architect is not what most people think. Many people have the impression that a cloud architect is a deep hands-on technical position. But this is not the case, not the case at all. In most cases, a cloud architect or a solution architect will never touch the technology. That's right. In many cases, we will never touch the technology. Most cloud architects will only use the following technology tools in their job. Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, and a drawing program such as Lucidchart or Draw.io. And usually a conferencing app like Zoom or WebEx or Microsoft Teams. So if the cloud architect doesn't usually touch the technology, what do we do on a daily basis? What do architects do like me? And I've graduated well over 100 architects in the last year that are now working. I've coached and graduated architects for, for decades that are working in great positions. And I've been an architect for decades. So we're going to go, what is the day in the life of an architect? What is the biggest thing that we do as an architect, as a cloud architect, enterprise architect, or solution architect? We go to a lot of meetings. Probably the number one things that cloud architects do or solution architects do is go to meetings. How many meetings? Well, I'm going to tell you at least 50% of the job is meetings and conferences. There will be days and even weeks where all you do as a cloud architect or a solution architect is go to meetings. So what do we do in all these meetings? Well, we're meeting with clients to gain customer requirements. We're delivering presentations to both client and internal audiences. We're providing strategic guidance to both customers as well as people inside of our organization on the business side and the technical side. We're constantly managing internal resources for people that will help us with proof of concepts and build out of our designs. We're getting together in conferences for architectural designs. No architecture is ever designed by one person. You've got a cloud architect who brings in a cloud network architect, who brings in a cloud security architect, who brings in an IAM architect, who brings in a big data architect. Everything in architecture is a team sport. So we'll be in constant meetings together to design things and go over requirements so we can all design things. When we meet with a client and ask the client about their business and we want to put an architecture together, like I said, it's a team sport. We may need upwards of 50 people from our company so we're going to be in more meetings to sell the internal management to give us those resources because they're expensive resources, but we need them for our job. We'll be going to meetings to sell our solutions to customers. We'll be going to meetings to negotiate deals and we'll be presenting at conferences. I'm going to call them meetings. You can call them conferences. In my mind, they're meetings. So half of the job, at least half of the job is meetings. So when we're not in meetings, what are other things that we do? Well, we write a lot of documents and we make a lot of designs. There will be weeks where this is all you do. I would say that about 15 to 25% of your day and time is related to documenting and writing. So what kind of writing does a cloud architect do or a solution architect do? Well, we create architectural design documents. This is not just a picture, but it's something that explains the entire solution, how it works and the business benefits offered by the solution. We'll be responding to RFIs, RFPs, and RFQs, requests for information, requests for proposals, and requests for quotes or pricing. As architects, we'll be writing constantly thought leadership documents to change an industry. We'll be writing white papers to assist with sales. We'll be writing internal requests, proposals, and business requests. As you can tell, we took 50 plus 15 to 25% of the job. That's 60 to 75% of the job just there, going to meetings and writing. Let's talk about the next phase, entertaining clients. There will be days where this is all you do taking people golfing, taking them to sporting events, taking them to dinners. A lot of what we do is entertain clients, about 10 to 20% of the job. And why do we do so much of it? This is a career where we need information. And the greater our relationships with our customers, the more likely they are to give us the good information. But also customers buy from people they like. They talk to people they like. So we really go far as architects to build the relationship with the client. It's critical to our success. Customers buy from who they like, 
But it's also, we need the right information to come up with the right architecture. I'll tell you right now, communication skills are the most critical skill for the architect, because here's the reason why. If we can't get those great customer requirements, we can't design anything. Now, what else do we do? Well, I like to call it firefighting. As architects, we do a lot of pulling out fires. And there will be days, and potentially a week or two here and there, where this is all you're going to be doing. What kind of firefighting do we do? Occasionally, someone will offend your customer, and you're going to have to go in there and, and fix the situation. Maybe somebody offended someone, maybe somebody made a mistake, and you're going to have to go in there, do some schmoozing, kissing some babies, entertaining some clients, and build, rebuild that relationship. Architects are executives, and as such, we do a tremendous amount of firefighting, so soft skills, emotional intelligence, so critical to our world. Now, of course, there is administrative work. We do a lot of that as architects. And what do I mean by administrative work? We respond to emails, we make phone calls, you know, those kind of things. So there you have it. The majority of what we do in our day is as follows. Going to meetings of some kind, writing documents of some kind, entertaining clients, firefighting, and whatever administrative things that you're there. So now you know what is the cloud architect and what is the role. This is not a role where we're hands-on. This is not a role where we're writing code. This is not a role where we're configuring. We are designing solutions to solve customers' business problems. I hope you've enjoyed this video on what does a cloud architect do and a day in the life of a cloud architect and a day in the life of a solution architect. To assist you with your cloud computing career, we have a completely free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar. And we run it every single week. Come to this webinar and we'll tell you exactly what you need to know to get hired, how to tune your resume to, so you don't get blocked by HR, things that hiring managers are looking for, and we will go over that completely with the cloud architect job. Also completely free. If you're trying to build your cloud computing career, I am online three times per week, completely free on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, asking any questions you have so I can guide you to build the best cloud computing career to get you your goals as fast as possible. This is Michael Gibbs. I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Careers, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care.